Okay, Nancy Perlman, what are you running for? I'm running for my fifth term for the Los Angeles Community College District Board of Trustees, seat six. And I'm running because I've accomplished so much in my previous terms, 16 years, but there's so much more to be done to keep our nine colleges and our district the best in the nation. Uh, what territories, what neighborhoods are included in your district? We are the largest community college district in the country. We have nine colleges. In the Valley, there's Mission, Pierce, and Valley College. In the middle part of the city, we have West LA on the west side. We have East LA College in the San Gabriel Valley area. We have uh, Trey Tech and City in the middle. And then we go south to Southwest College and all the way down to Wilmington to Harbor College. We cover 34 cities, the entire city of Los Angeles and 33 other cities. Does it include uh, Cal State LA? We have Cal State LA, we have the University of California at Los Angeles, and one of the programs that I've been very instrumental in doing is uh, getting students who get the AA degree at our colleges to be guaranteed entry into those two institutions. What the heck is going on on the college campuses vis-a-vis -vis Israel and the concept of Zionism and Israel is a Jewish state? There's so much turmoil in the world and of course the colleges get some of that and talk about it. They want us, for example, to divest in Israel. I won't. I've been supportive of Israel since my dad as a Zionist tried to get that country established. And I believe that we must recognize Israel and every nation on the planet here should recognize Israel's existence. And we have to work hard to be sure there's no anti-Semitism or other discrimination. Because I know what discrimination is all about. My father was a first generation American who couldn't go to medical school here in the United States. So ben, ben Shapiro faced a near riot at Cal State LA uh, because they didn't think, uh, as a Jew, that he, he was enough of a mini minority, or that uh, the Middle East Studies Department, they're uh, against anyone who's defending Israel. What are you doing to defend Israel within the campus communities? As a member of the Board of D Trustees, we were able to introduce resolutions to recognize issues. For example, when the genocide issue came up, I wanted to be sure that we recognized the Holocaust, not just genocide in another country, it, genocide everywhere in the world. That's one of the areas. I want to be sure that uh, we have the Jewish studies, which we do, uh, that they are able to continue to uh, provide uh, the educational resources for the students. It's so important that we support all of our students. And you know, when I run for office, I'm accused of not representing diversity. I have Jewish heritage. I represent diversity. And it's also important to realize that my opponent and his supporters have said there are too many Jews on the board. So I don't think that's the issue. This is Los Angeles. There are a lot of Jewish people here. And I represent everybody, whether they're male, female, whatever their national heritage is. Would you acknowledge that there's a problem in academia today, and specifically in California, vis-a-vis -vis Israel and, the, and the, uh, Israel's rights to uh, a, a safe and uh, a, a, a protected, a truthful representation in academia? There is a problem in academia, no question about it. And as educators, as policymakers, we have to be sure that that kind of problem doesn't occur. Uh -huh, but you've been in for a long time. What have you done on this subject? I go to the campuses. I work with the students. I work with the faculty. I work with the staff to be sure that these issues are addressed. I introduce resolutions. I work with the fellow board to try and get them to acknowledge that these are problems and issues that have to be dealt with. What kind of challenges do you face uh, as a Democrat, as a progressive Democrat from the left in trying to stand up for Israel? I face a lot of problems because people attack me for supporting Israel and I'll never give up that support. And they are not happy with me 
to do that. What's going on in the Middle East has to be dealt with by the world nations. And as educators, we have to have forums to discuss the problems, to openly try and come up with solutions so that we are supported. And I have been not supported by the mainstream politicos and politicians because I do have this stance and they're not happy with it. But I stand for my principles. I have three main principles, student success, fiscal accountability, and sustainability. I got the biggest green building program in the country established. Nine billion dollars of taxpayers' money has to be spent sustainably. I was the only one who knew what Leeds was. So yes, I may be on the left when it comes to environmentalism, which I've been working on for 48 years, and sustainability. But I want to be sure that our taxpayer dollars aren't wasted. And I want to be sure that the students have the support necessary to succeed, regardless of who they are.